everyone welcome to another episode of id in 15. today's session is on verifiable credentials with matter and the wso2 identity server i am tisara vermila software engineer uh, working at wso2 identity and access management team okay what is verifiable credentials according to w3c specification verifiable credentials are described as digital equivalents to the paper document that we use in our real physical world so simply verifiable credentials are like uh, id cards license but in a digital form so they contain digital credentials and can be stored in a digital wallet sql these verifiable credentials are capable of providing a secure, temper-free, and uh, cryptographically verifiable way to the, uh, for the ver credential verification. And also, it is able to perform the verifiable credential without involving the credential issuer. In addition to that, uh, these verifiable credentials provide the full control and ownership to the credential holder. Okay, let's take an example scenario to make it easy to understand how these verifiable credentials are using. Here is the Bob whose birthday is on June 17. And here is the Tasty Pizza Shop who offers a 20% discount on their uh, customer's birthday. To claim the offer, Bob can prove his birthday via verifiable credentials which has offered by a trusted party. For example, the government. So you can see there are three parties in this example scenario. Bob, uh, Tasty, uh, Tasty Pizza Restaurant and the Trusted Authority. The Bob is referred as the holder who owns and holds the verifiable credentials. The trusted party refers uh, to the issuer who has authority to issue verifiable credentials. And finally, the pizza shop refers uh, to the veri uh, verifier who verify the credentials that hold their presence. Okay, considering the complete scenario, you can see it consists of two parts. Holding cla uh, holder claiming verifiable credentials uh, from the issuer and then uh, the holder present the requested credentials to the verifier and perform the verifi uh, credential verification. First, let's look, uh, look at the verifiable credential issuing flow. Here, the organization wants to offer verifiable credentials to the BOB, where the matter is supports for, uh, supports for the credential issuing and managing, while WSO2 identity server authenticates the BOB and provides the required claims to offer the credentials. First, organization create a matter issuer to offer the credentials and then generate a QR code. The user who wants to claim the credentials can scan the QR code via matter mobile wallet. It is required to authenticate with WSO2 identity provider to claim the verifi uh, ver uh, verifiable credentials. Moving to the verification flow, here uh, verifiers require uh, re uh, verify request credentials from the user who holds the credentials in their mobile wallet. For that, verify is required to create a presentation request and generate a QR code based on it. So the user can view the request and response uh, with a verifiable presentation. Okay, let's move into the demonstration. For the demonstration, I will use the same example scenario. To make it easier to follow up, I have divided the demo into three parts. Uh, first one is configuring WSO2 identity server to connect to matter with open ID connect. Then second one is issuing verifiable credential to the matter wallet holder. So here, first name, last name, email address and birthday will be offered as a verifiable credentials. Finally, verified credentials presented by the wallet holder. Okay, now let's move to the first part of the demonstration where we configure the WSO2 identity server. Here I have uh, up and running the latest WSO2 identity server version 6.0. So if you are trying this uh, same uh, demo scenario and uh, your WSO2 identity server is running locally, you need to do some additional server configuration as well as set up the 
uh, in rock so the, all the required steps are mentioned uh, in the block that i mentioned in the description you can you can uh, follow up them uh, first let's create a user so first go to the user and role section here i will create a new user fill, uh, fill the required fields Click on finish. Okay, now uh, go to the user profile of the user that you just created. Then we need to provide the values for the clients that we are going to offer as the verifiable credentials. Okay, click on update okay now uh, we need to create a service provider so go to service provider section add on uh, add button and here you can provide any name you prefer so i'm gonna give click on register Okay, now go to the inbound authentication configuration, auth open ID connect configuration, click on configure button. Here for the callback URL, we need to provide the callback URL of the matter issuer once we created it. For now, I will uh, give a dummy callback URL value as this is mandatory. Click on add button. Okay, now expand the claim configuration. Under the claim configuration, we need to add the claims that we are going to offer as the verifiable credentials. So we have to add all four uh, claims: date of birth, email address, and then given name. Finally, the last name. And make them all claims mandatory because uh, it is required to pass these claims from the WSO to identity server click on update okay now we have set up the wso to identity server so now we can proceed with uh, creating matter issuer okay, go to the postman first of all we need to create a, a matter account for this so you can visit their official website and create an account once you successfully create the account you will retrieve a matter a client id client secret and the subdomain so I have already configured those values as the environment variables in the Postman, and I also uh, so this is this is for uh, to retrieve the access token. I have already executed them and retrieved the access token. So we can use this access token in other requests uh, for the authorization. Okay, moving forward, uh, now we are going to create a DID. Here I am uh, configured it to use a BLS uh, key type. I'm gonna use this. Okay, now we have the uh, DID. Copy this value and I'm gonna set it as a environment variable as well. Okay, now we can create a meta issuer. Here we need to provide the DID that we just created and any name that you prefer. Under the federated and uh, federated provider section, here provide the URL for the WSO to identity server and for the client ID and client secret, provide the corresponding value of the OIDC application that we created in the first step. You can retrieve those values by navigating to the uh, inbound authentication configuration. Copy these values. I'm gonna set them also as environment variables. Uh, client secret as well.
Here under the claim mappings, we need to configure what are the claims that we are going to offer as the credentials. So we have all four uh, claims mapping that configured here. Executing it now. Okay. So when you scroll back down under the federated provider, you can see the callback URL. So we need to copy this value. And set it as the callback URL for the OIDC application that we created in the WSO2 identity server. Now we all need to do is uh, generate the QR code. So users come and scan the QR code and create the credentials. The matter official documentation describes how to create the QR code. You can refer them. I'm just gonna proceed uh, by copy in this ID of the matter issuer and we paste it here. I have already downloaded the matter wallet into my mobile so I'm gonna scan the QR code with it. Okay now you can see uh, is our verifiable is our credential offer so here we have the credentials that we're gonna offer I'm gonna proceed here I will provide the jobs credential Okay, now we are in the consent page. It's and I'm going to go. Okay, you can see now we have successfully uh, saved the credentials. If you go inside this, you can see what are the uh, credentials that we have just obtained. Okay, now let's move into the last part of the demonstration where we verify credentials. Uh, where we verify credentials. For that, I'm going to use matter sample application. So here, I'm going to use verify callback express sample application. Uh, it described how to do the configurations. And how to do the setup i have already uh, set up this application all i need to do is uh, create a presentation template so here uh, we can give uh, any unique name and then uh, under the credential query i'm gonna request only the birthday claim because according to our Sample scenario that is the only claim that we require, and under the trusted issuer, we're gonna give the DID of the issuer. Okay, now I can And I'm gonna save this. Let's see. Okay, here we have the QR code which requests the credentials. I'm and this. Here are the credential request. So if we go inside this, you can see verify has only request the birthday claim. Although we are, there are a few more other claims, we don't share any of them. Gonna back the send credit. Okay, that was successful. So um, 
this is the response that verifier re receive so here under the claims the birthday claims is only contains here so that is how we can uh, do the credential verification this is all for the today's session if you have any questions you can ask them from uh, on our community channels uh, our slack channel discord channel or in stack offer our product team is more than happy to help you thank you stay tuned for another id in 15 episode